two approaches. One is a top-down and bottom-up approach. Okay, one is by Inman and then Kimball. So what is top-down? So far, what we are discussing is all top-down only. Why they named as a top-down? Okay, in this case, all the diagrams, whatever you see, first we are developing a big piece of information. We are depositing a large piece of data sets here, okay, which is very huge, which is enterprise level. And on top of that, I am developing a smaller pieces, okay, that is the data mod. Because data mod is a subset of your enterprise level, okay, that's why we are going from top level to bottom level. That's why it is a top-down approach big chunk of because the data model I may have enterprise levels but I may have only two data models. In future if you want I can build the other data models. Okay. And apart from this, okay, there is another method which is called bottom-up approach. So why bottom up approach is not so famous okay nowadays and also not good fit for here is in older days, okay, there used to be a lot of demand for this kind of approach. Okay, the reason is, in older days, our hardware servers and then softwares are not so great. Okay, even getting, uh, like, even 9, 2000 also, if you see, we don't have databases like Teradata or Netiza, which are specially designed for data everything. So, processing data, like huge volumes, used to be very tough. Okay, so in the top-down approach, one small problem is, not now in the older days, if I want to see a report here, first I need to load into staging, and then from staging to data warehousing, data warehousing to data mod, and then report. So, so many phases you have to undergo. So, if your data, your servers are not high-end, okay, your server capacity is not that great, then it will take time to take from here to here, from here to here, here to here, here to here. To here. If I want to see a report very quickly, so I need to wait for all these phases with slow processing. That's why if I want to see data very quickly, okay, so here I'm just building a data using only report centric means whatever data is there, I just want to generate reports very quickly. Okay, my servers are very slow in older days. So to provide you report very quickly, Okay, so first we'll take the data from OLDP to staging and from staging to directly data mod because the data mod is a ready presentable data format for you. So we'll directly take data from staging and build data mods so that, so there is only one phase, I can go and directly generate reports from the data mod here. So that only one phase I can, in case if you need it, parallel you can build a data warehouse or you can ignore it. Okay, so but only problem is, okay, you have only limited data in a data mod. In, if you don't have a data warehousing, in future if you want to get some more reports, it is not possible because you have built only three data mods. In future you want one more data mod, okay, that may not be possible. Or if you have enterprise warehouse, you can take again, but uh, so the again, you can ask me like again we are building data warehousing, what is it? There will not be any problem. The reason is, so I am looking for three reports, one, two, three. So I will first load into data mod. As soon as data mod is loaded, I can generate a report. So my requirement is done. And slowly, okay, I will loading into enterprise warehouse. Nobody is looking for data in an enterprise warehouse today because I, all my reports are already executed. I don't care when your data warehousing is completed. Okay, you have to, midnight is going to finish or going to take another five hours, I don't care because my reports are already there, so let it draw, load data into enterprise warehouse slowly. So that's why this is one of the good option in a older days. But nowadays we have everything available, even big big database, even big data, high and in memory, no SQL and the columnar databases available. So what extent data you want to store and process, we are ready. That's why the best architecture nowadays is this. Okay. So this is all your architecture of the data warehousing and then theory part of your data warehousing.